Well, Ed, here we are at the beautiful Glen Club, getting set to uh, watch the U.S. Open in this post-Tiger era now. It's a wide open field. It really is wide open. I mean, you could pick a, any number of guys, you know, from Luke Donald, our very own number one player in the world going into the tournament. He needs to win a major really to kind of validate himself, take himself to the next level. So a lot of different guys figure in there. Pick a golfer, any golfer. Well, Phil Mickelson's been there many times for the U.S. Open. Uh, hasn't won it yet, but he'd have to be a guy to watch out well, for. Well, you know, he's been inconsistent this year, but I'm watching what he did last at the Memorial. Shot a 67 in the last round. Maybe that'll give him some momentum. You know, it would be a great story if he finally won a U.S. Open after all his near misses. How about Congressional now? First time since 97, their backs made the longest course in U.S. <laughs> Open history. It's really long, and it's tight. I mean, it's going to be a very tough setup for those guys. I think the guy who hits it straight and manages his game is going to be the guy who wins out there. So that's a lot, it brings in a lot of players. How about uh, a guy like Bubba Watson? He's going to be a guy I'm going to watch out for. He hits it so long. He's really long, but a lot of guys hit it long. He's got to manage his game. He's got to perform at a higher level than he has. Who's somebody you're watching out for? Well, I'm watching out for Matt Kuchar. I think a lot of people are looking at him to finally kind of get over the top and win a major. He finished second at the Memorial. A lot of top ten finishes. He's a guy who putts well, hits the ball straight. He's a guy to watch this week. Should be a great U.S. Open.